Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Chainlink. Just want to provide a quick update here. I had a few questions about Chainlink. Overall for Chainlink, from my point of view, not too much has changed, but we can see possibly the uh, creation here of some new patterns on the chart that we want to be aware of. Um, before we start, my primary view still is that we are going to see this target area here um, below wave A. Yeah, I mean, it would be possible that this already was the low at $13 and 50 roughly, yeah, the previous wave A, but actually to go to new all-time highs and to tidy up the structure, it would be much better to see a lower low here and to really come into this target area, sitting between $6 and $11.40. So this is the last chance for the bulls here really at $13.50 to <clears throat> start out from here, but at the moment it doesn't look like that, not yet. Um, even here in the last few days where a lot of cryptos did move up quite a bit, um, you can see Chainlink was just very weak and that just confirms me in my, in my view that I've kept throughout that we just need to come down a little bit lower for Chainlink. Um, in the grand scheme of things, I think, however, at the moment already these prices are fairly attractive. Yeah, so just really to mention that for dollar cost averaging in, um, it's uh, no financial advice, but it just is in the grand scheme of things, when we're at $16, we were already at 52 here. That was early in 2021. And I think we're going to get there again. You know, I think we're going to get there. <clears throat> what we're just going to see here now is this ABC correction, um, which is currently playing out. And in this ABC correction, it just has to correct the previous uh, impulse. That's what it does. And typically the altcoins come down into this range between the 0.887 um, FIB level and the 0.786. And the fact that Chainlink has lost the 0.618 FIB level, which was already here at $20, make me very confident that we're going to see this lower level. Of course, nothing is guaranteed, you know, um, but it's all about probabilities. And this is typically what works out that, um, first of all, these Fibonacci levels are being um, uh, seen. You know, we see them typically with altcoins in a correction. And especially if one Fib level was lost, you're typically going to see the next one. Now, we are going to see here a few interesting patterns. First of all, the weakness in the chart. What we're doing here, what Chainlink is doing is looking very corrective. Um, so even if it moves higher from here, it still has quite a lot of space actually to move higher before it comes down. Um, cause what we could be seeing here is probably something like, uh, yeah, it could just be an ABC, a larger ABC within a wave C <clears throat> or you've this year, maybe what's only the one, two. Now you might be seeing another one, two. So there is further downside potential. And, um, what I really wanted to point out is this pattern, which might be emerging here currently. So we have this descending trend line down here and we might be seeing here currently something like a descending wedge emerging, which could support the price um, and keep the price quite constrained that we move lower here, move up again, you know, lower, maybe touch that $11.30 level, the 0.786 FIB level, and then move up from here. That is certainly a possibility. But that just shows we are fairly low to the um, low. And we I don't think we're ready to break out yet because we need to see this FIP level. But um, it's a bullish pattern, yeah? So we need to acknowledge that it's typically a bullish pattern. And I think Chainlink is already preparing something for a breakout. I think still we need to come down lower and see these lower FIP levels. Um, but it's an interesting pattern that we want to be aware of. Yeah. So I think Chainlink continues to be weak, um, but it will get its time. And as soon as the correction is complete, then we're going to see much higher prices. My price target is, whoops, as with so many other cryptos at the moment, um, because they're doing fairly similar wave patterns, but they still move different. Some move um, more than others, some are later. Um, so Chainlink, I think in that next wave up, we should see at least the 1.618 Fibonacci extension at $85. I mean, bear in mind, we're currently at $16. So that is also why I think that currently the price level is actually not too bad, right? For dollar cost averaging. And that is just my opinion, of course, no financial advice. Um, here on the daily, we can get confirmed on the RSI that um, just the chart is very weak. We are still in the bearish range, which just 8, uh, 39 here um, on the RSI. There is also further room for dropping prices. The daily MACD is also losing steam here. So the momentum, and we might get another bullish crossover here in a few days um, if that weakness continues to play out. And actually also here in the very short term, if you just look at this latest pattern, which, which is developing within this descending wedge, you can actually see here 
um, an ascending broadening wedge and also this ascending broadening wedge short term is rather a bearish pattern yeah um, it is like an ascending wedge it's just an ascending broadening wedge doesn't happen that often but it's typically a, a bearish pattern and you can expect I think a breakout here to the downside within the descending wedge which is actually a bullish pattern but first I would expect the breakout to the downside and then at some point here to the upside so we are fairly low uh, close to the low but I think we're going to see another wave down um, and here for example on the weekly yeah we don't see any sign of recovery yet there is also further scope for further um, downtrends here on the weekly RSI yeah there is still much more room and on the weekly MACD that is confirmed by you know there was a potential reversal here but that is now stopping and we just see an acceleration actually of the selling pressure again so yeah there is no um, there, not really any bullishness we see potentially here um, this descending wedge which could be a preparation for a breakout to the upside yeah so that's something to be aware of but then you know we are still below the 50 day moving average we're below the 200 day moving average so still in a downtrend um, and even to take a look here at the EMA ribbon even yeah it just only flashed now again another um, short signal on the weekly especially yeah on the weekly so that's when these EMAs are crossing then you're going to see here this uh, short signal and that is just another sell signal on the weekly I mean the weekly candle hasn't closed yet but um, we only have a couple more days on the daily that already happened here on the 19th of January um, and it typically works out quite well that indicator here when you get a cross of these EMAs on the EMA ribbon and the price can't push higher than this anyway um, then you typically get that signal and then you can expect lower prices and even here on the four hour chart also just today um, we had another cross to the downside and um, yeah it's not looking too good at the moment also that EMA ribbon as we dropped here that was on the 10th of February we retested the EMA ribbon from below and you can see that we couldn't push through here and then you saw that major um, move down actually it was not major but it's nothing too unusual in crypto but it's quite a significant drop actually from uh, within just a couple of days of yeah, 11 percent 12 percent so yeah my view here remains rather short-term bearish on Chainlink but overall still bullish for the next wave up we should see fairly fairly um, high prices in the 60 70 80 dollar range yeah maybe even a little bit higher and from that perspective then I think the current prices are still not too bad all the indicators currently pointing to the downside also my target area not yet reached just really to emphasize once more it's possible of course it's possible that at 1350 here that low the previous wave a was the low that is possible yeah it doesn't need to come down lower but i don't like that structure it also is not good for the chart if it does that and should go up from here um it doesn't tidy up the chart as it should you need a clean cut typically you want that abc correction to play out with a c wave coming down lower than the wave a only that really tidies the chart up doesn't leave anything that also would give me a um, <laughs> stomach ache right um and only then I think we have it tidied up. That is why I think it would be good for the chart. Yeah, it would be good for the chart to do it. Um, a lot of people always say, right, you, why Why do you want the price to come down? I only want the price to come down because in a clean correction, typical ABC, you want the C wave to come down lower than the A wave. This tidies the chart up, tidies up the indicators, and then you normally are set for a clean and clear start for the next wave up. And again, what we see here, if I just zoom out once more, what we see here on the chaining chart is all of this here was a larger wave one in my opinion. Yeah, we are currently in a wave two and the next wave up will be a wave three. That wave three should normally give us a fast start, a quick start, a rocket start. Um, we shouldn't really have to spend too too much time down there. I mean, it doesn't mean we, not necessarily, what happens, I don't know. It could be a V-shaped uh, recovery. It could also just be, um, still a fairly long move in the target area and then at some point you, you get to some sort of a breakout moment that happened before but yeah nobody knows that really but the wave three when it kicks off should be rather fast so yeah hopefully you liked the update if you did please smash the like button and subscribe and again if you really like the content for additional content and uh, to support the channel and the community maybe consider to join as a channel member um, with a silver membership you can get access to discord the telegram live chat and the weekly live stream and uh, it's a fantastic community and I'd love to have you on board. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.